Everyone is going to be moving soon. Okay, not really. People aren't really moving soon. But Wallace and Chelsea, Chelsea's Horace, if that has never been distinguished, um, are planning to move to the big city, aka Toronto. I guess I have to specify because I don't know where y'all are watching from. So yeah, my mother works in the city and I'll soon be going to school in the city. So we're thinking we would like to move closer to the city too. But holy crow, the prices are ridiculous. Right now we live in a fairly small town and the houses cost normal house prices, I guess. And our houses are probably getting more expensive because the highway is coming further down. So we're getting closer to the city. But because we want to move, we've been checking out places closer and closer and closer, plus in the city. And wow, the it's just crazy. We checked out a house that was probably half the size, if not less than our house, and it was $1.2 million. Well, we don't really have that kind of money. We don't really have close to that kind of money, so that's just insanity for a smaller, smaller house. And there's three of us that will be moving. So, what? We spend a lot of our time in the city, so it does make sense to move down there. My mom works there. Like I said, I'll be going to school down there. And we do spend a lot of time down there, whether it's shopping or going to restaurants or just going to hang out or whatever. But we spend a lot of time in the city. So it makes logical sense for us to move closer. The problem is, one, price. Two, finding out where we want to live, because there's a lot of places in the city that are kind of sketchy. Three, um, I grew up in this house. This is the only house I've ever lived in. So it's kind of hard, like I'm bad with change. Plus this is my childhood house. This is the room that I was brought to after I was born. So I don't want to leave. I know this town like the back of my hand. I don't need to figure out a city. Cities are big and there's lots of stuff and it's kind of scary. But the more I spend time in a small town, like when I, well, a small town, when I went to college in Welland, I didn't feel like I belonged there. I felt kind of like the big fish in the small pond kind of thing. So I feel like if I move to the city, I'll have more room to grow and develop who I am. But at the same time, I'm a small town kind of girl, I think. But it's hard to say, because I've never lived anywhere but here. Either way, we'll probably be moving in the next year or so. Wallace and uh, Chelsea are moving sooner, I believe, but there's a lot more opportunities in the city. We would love to move closer. If you could tell us in the comments below where closer or to the city is nice, like small little hamlets in the city or small little areas in the city or close to the city that are well-priced or just really nice neighborhoods, that would be excellent so we could start our search there. Yeah, I don't really know what else to talk about today other than we want to go to Toronto and stay there for a long time. Long time being like probably 10 years or something. But still, that's good. That's half of my life right now. A little under. Still, it's a lot of time I want to spend there. Commute would be better and it would be awesome. I love the city. So, if you could let me know, that'd be awesome. And thanks. See you next week.